Hi everyone, welcome to the Apple Bay Resonance Chemistry. Now, let us continue our lectures on the carbohydrates. I think it is part 7. In, pre in previous video, I had discussed about uh, like a cyclic structure and uh, a simple trick to remember to identify the naming of carbohydrate uh, compounds. Now, in this session, uh, I will discuss the like uh, disaccharide compounds. Disaccharide. So that means uh, here, uh, whenever it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction, it gives the two types of monomers, either same type of monomers or different types of monomers. Now, those type of uh, carbohydrates are called disaccharides. Now here disaccharides, the best example is uh, sucrose, again uh, maltose, again lactose. Sucrose which is a, uh, like, which is came from the like a cane sugar, again it is uh, available from like two forms, uh, we know that. Again maltose, so which is uh, uh, recently absorbed in like a, it is a sweet, uh, like a sweetest sugar. Lactose, here it is available in milk, that's why it is also called as milk sugar which is also called as milk sugar. So these three are the like a very simple disaccharides. Whenever these uh, disaccharides undergo the like a hydrolysis reaction, H2O plus, okay, hydrolysis reaction. So it gives the like a two moles of uh, one mole of glucose and one mole of fructose. One mole of glucose and one mole of fructose. Now here maltose will give rise to the like two moles of uh, glucose units only. Again, uh, lactose uh, will give the one mole of uh, galactose and another mole of uh, glucose unit. Galactose and the glucose unit. So these are the like uh, basic uh, their basic uh, construction or their basic building points of the like uh, disaccharides. Sucrose and maltose, lactose. These three are very simple, uh, simple disaccharide examples. However, so these three among these three simple disaccharides, here sucrose is the non-reducing sugar. It is the reducing sugar. It is the reducing sugar. So the first, first of all, before going to the detailed analysis on these type of disaccharides, so first of all we will discuss the like a reducing and non-reducing sugars. Reducing sugar means uh, whenever a carbonyl functionality, uh, however, the a functional group which can reduce by the like reducing reagents, uh, then it is called uh, reducing agents or reducing compounds. Now here sugars uh, sugars are reduced, then it is called uh, reducing sugars, which are cannot reduce uh, like a simple tolerance and failing test. Those are the non-reducing sugars. Those are the non-reducing sugars. Mm -hmm. However, a carbonyl compounds both the carbonyl compounds one is uh, like aldehyde and another one is ketone so these two groups are present at free position free aldehyde or ketone groups are present in our sugar then those are called reducing sugars those are called reducing sugars however a free c double bond oh or c double bond or groups are present then it is called reducing sugars which cannot present then those those go, uh, sugars are called a non reducing sugar however in case of like a, this type of disaccharides here a free hemiacetal functional group is there hemiacetal so we know that so here it is the like oh or is called hemiacetal if this is also an alka 3 group then it is called acetal group so if a free hemiacetal group is present so a free oh in hemiacetal group presents then those are called like a, a reducing sugars those are called reducing sugars okay now in these two cases maltose and lactose here the free hemiacetal OH group is present that's why these two are the reducing sugars in case of sucrose it is not present that's why it is a non-reducing sugars are you clear about that so if any functional group now i uh, would like to modify the like reducing sugar definition if any functional group will be having the like aldehyde or ketone or hemiacetal group those are called reducing sugars which are not there then it is called non-reducing sugar so what is the purpose of those, those functional groups if the presence of these functional groups it gives the like tolerance as well as for failing test okay tolerance as well as a failing test that's why those are called like reducing sugars another thing is like if any sugar which gives the like a, which act as a reducing sugar then only it gives the like a muta rotation if any a sugar is a non-reducing sugar that cannot uh, gives the muta rotation this is also an important point please note that so if a, a sugar it is a non-reducing sugar that cannot uh, rotate the muta rotation cannot participate the muta rotation that is also another point again uh, the reducing sugars uh, which also gives the like a uh, like a, it is a 
ozone derivative test ozone derivative test this is the basic introduction point of the disaccharide reactions okay now let us go through the like a complete reaction a complete examples regarding to the uh, disaccharides okay now we will go through the like a uh, disaccharide the first one is a sucrose first one is sucrose which is came from the like a, a cane sugar now here it gives the like a equivalent equimolar ratios of a, a, like a glucose and fructose glucose and fructose in generally glucose and fructose glucose here the mix uh, sucrose having the glucose that glucose is a dextro rotatory not the capital D both are D configuration D glucose and D fructose okay now here these dextro indicates a small d that is a plane polarized right rotation now here fructose so here fructose is the levo rotatory so these d indicates configuration these d indicates like a rotation the both are they different that is the conformational things okay d glucose and d fructose okay overall the mixture of solution of a sugar it gives the levo rotatory so this is very important points Okay, so now here D glucose is the dextro rotatory in sucrose, uh, particularly in sucrose. D fructose is the levo rotatory. So uh, the total overall mixer is levo rotatory. Overall mixer is levo rotatory. Now we know that uh, the glucose structure here it is the glucose CH2OH, HOH, HH. OH, 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 H, H. Okay, again we know that uh, like a uh, uh, fructose structure. Okay, now here O H H H O H O H H. Okay, so here it forms the like a cyclic structure. So here it it forms the like a cyclic structure. So here it is the O H. Here it is the C H two O H. So in in previous video I will explain the those uh, cyclic structure of fructose. Here it is the cyclic structure. Again here it forms the another cyclic structure. O H. So this is the like a uh, alpha glucose. So here it is beta pi, like a beta furanose. That is beta fructose. Here glucopyranose. Here fructofuranose. Fructofuranose. So in this session, in this in uh, these two uh, mixture of the compounds here here OH from the left side that indicates a, a beta compound here right side that is alpha linkage so alpha linkage from the glucose beta linkage from the fructose these two are undergoing the like a uh, dehydration it forms the new COC bond that is a COC bond that COC bond is called glycosidic bond glycosidic bond now here it forms the glycosidic bond now let us represent these molecule in uh, like our uh, favorite cyclic chain model so here it is the like a glucose structure that is a uh, like a uh, pyranose structure now the pyranose structure here it is the right side oh that indicates uh, like a bottom right side is bottom we know that loud rule so don't forget about the loud rule okay now here it is the bottom again the second position is uh, like a hoh sorry hoh second one is the right side it is also down third one is the left side that is up fourth one is the right side that is down so the next one is a d that's why here it is the like ch2oh so this is the a glucose pyranose structure again here it is the uh, like a uh, fructose so the fructose having the like a uh, furan structure Fructose having the furan structure at the position here it is the beta beta indicates O is top O is top now here it having the like CH two OH CH two OH now the second carbon is left side left side indicates upside OH now the third one is right side so downside OH next one is downside that is also downside OH now here it is the not the OH like here H CH two OH that indicates a D isomer upside of the CH two OH indicates D isomer so this is the simplest structure about uh, like a sucrose moiety this is the simplest uh, structure about sucrose moiety now according to our rule according to our reducing sugar definition so a, a sugar which having the like aldehyde or ketone or hemiacetal functionality then only it is reducing sugar otherwise it is not a reducing sugar okay now here there is no free carbonyl functionality that is uh, there is no free aldehyde functionality or ketone functionality again there is no possibility for the formation of the free amyacetol functionality free amyacetol means here oh 
OR group. So here all the groups are OR like uh, similarly. So you now here O, these are the like alkoxy group. Now here O, these are the like alkoxy group. There is no free OH at the like glycosidic bond. So that's why there is no free OH at the glycosidic bond. Th that's why here it not it does not reduces the tolerance as well as failing test. So if any compound, any sugar does not reduces the tolerance as well as the failing solution, then it is called non-reducing sugar. That's why sucrose is an example of non-reducing sugar. Non-reducing sugar, it cannot uh, undergo the like muta rotation. It cannot give the muta rotation. Again, tolerance also not gives, it cannot give the tolerance. It cannot reduce the tolerance as well as the failing solution. Tolerance as well as failing solution. This is the simplest information regarding to the like a uh, sucrose mite. Now let us go through the like uh, another uh, examples. The, those are the like um, maltose as well as lactose molecules. Okay. Now the second example is uh, like a maltose. So here it is the second. Uh, disaccharide it is the best example for the like a disaccharide so maltose whenever the starch compound in presence of maltase enzyme starch in presence of maltase enzyme it gives the like a maltose mites again maltose can undergo the hydrolysis reaction it gives the two equivalent moles of glucose mites two equivalent moles of the glucose mites now that means uh, here the maltose is made up of the the combination of two units of glucose mites the combination of two units of glucose mites and now we know that the structure of glucose now here, so CH2OH, OH, H, 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 H. So here it is the like a cyclic structure, HOH, -H, cyclic structure. Now H, O, H, sorry, here the H, O, H, O, H. So this is the cyclic structure. Now here in, the, uh, in this compound, one mole of glucose, it forms the like another mole of glucose, another mole of glucose. Now here, both are the glucose mites, both are the glucose mites. Now here H. OH like a CH2OH H OH so this is the compound okay now here HOH OH H like here HOH so these are the like two units of glucose mites two units of glucose mites now here one of the like OH functionality from the fourth position now here one two three fourth position okay so fourth position of the carbohydrate OH which is connected to the like a uh, first position that is the anomeric carbon of the one unit of glucose now so these these two structures can be written like this Okay, so this is the simplest structure regarding to the like our glucose mighty here downside, here upside is the downside, here OH that is D glucose only. Okay, that is only D glucose. Again, it forms the like a alpha isomer. So here it is the alpha isomer that means uh, here bottom side of the group. Now here it forms the like a fourth position. Okay, now here the fourth position, one, two, three, fourth position. Now here, one, two, three, fourth position. Fourth OH can attach to the, like a fourth OH. So here, these OH uh, will lose the water molecule from the anomeric carbon of the another glucose mighty. Now here, OH, OH. Okay, now here it is the bottom side. That's why I'll return the OH molecule like this. Again, here it is the OH. Now here, it having the one free OH mighty. Okay, now here it having the one free OH mighty. Why? Because here it, it uh, talks the like fourth position of the another glucose mighty. So anomeric carbon of the first glucose mighty, which is connected to the like fourth position of the other glucose mighty that's why you are having the like a uh, free OH free OH whenever the compound having like O here it is the R group here it is the OH a single compound having the like OH and OR then it is called hemiacetal here it having the hemiacetal free OH that's why it is an example of a reducing sugar it is also called as a reducing sugar why because here it having the like a free OH here does not having the any type of like a carbonyl or a uh, carbonyl functionality that is either aldehyde or ketone functionality but here it having the free OH that is a glycosidic hemiacetal OH not the uh, like a so glycosidic hemiacetal OH that's why it is an example of a reducing sugar reducing sugar here OH is not fixed that's why here it forms the like two types of isomer here it is the like alpha 1 comma 4 dash okay now here 1 2 3 4 5 so this is the numbering 
strings. Now if you have one dash, two dash, similar type of things, then it is like numbering like this, four dash, five dash, six dash, one comma four dash like a glycosidic bond, one comma four dash glycosidic bond. Again, it forms the another type of isomer that is beta isomer. Okay, now here OH. OH, OH, so here it is the OH. Again, it forms the like a beta isomer. It forms the beta isomer. Now here, OH, OH, OH. Now here it is the like OH. Like here it is the OH mighty. So this is simply beta 1 comma 4 dash, 1 comma 4 dash beta isomer, beta gluco. Simply it is 1 comma 4 dash mal uh, maltose. Now here it is both beta 1 comma 4 dash maltose. So here it forms the like about two types of isomers. One is alpha and another one is beta. So the beta isomer is called cellobios. Okay, so this is called cellobios. So these are the two examples due to the like a uh, known exact position of the OH, then it is uh, like a uh, it is classified two types one is a uh, alpha, uh, alpha isomer, and another one is beta isomer. In particularly, so alpha isomer having the like a bottom side that indicates here it is the like a uh, axial OH, alpha maltose, alpha maltose is axial. Beta maltose is equatorial position. The OH free OH position is equatorial in beta maltose. Equatorial in beta maltose. These are the like simplest structures regarding to the like a uh, disaccharide of the maltose. Disaccharide of the maltose. Now let us go through the the final saccharide, final disaccharide that is a uh, lactose here, which is available from the milk. That's why it is also called as milk sugar. Again, these maltose, it gives the two types of uh, reactions. Uh, it gives the osozone derivatives, the maltose will give the osozone. Okay, again, Tollens test, Failings test. Again, it having the like a uh, methylation test as well, uh, methylation test also. Okay, so that's why it is an example of uh, like uh, reducing sugar. Okay, the final thing, final disaccharide is uh, lactose. So, which is also called as a, like a milk sugar. Why? Because which is available, uh, the source of lactose is milk. So, whenever the uh, lactose uh, can get a hydrolyzed, it gives the like one mole of galactose and another mole of glucose. One mole of galactose and another mole of glucose. Now, we know that uh, like a glucose moiety as well as a galactose moiety. So, we know that uh, like a glucose. Now, here it is the glucose, CH2OH, HOH. This is the like a cyclic, stri uh, cyclic structure, like a HOH now here HOH OH H H OH okay so this is the glucose structure however the similarly so the glycose might is also present like this like uh, here it is the OH H OH H like HOH this is the like a glycose might if any doubts please refer the like a uh, tree model a uh, tree model of the like a uh, uh, this type of uh, carbohydrate tricks okay now here this is the glucose mighty this is the galactose mighty so here the galactose mighty OH so the galactose mighty OH can attack the like a uh, fourth position of the like uh, glucose mighty okay here it forms the like a C1 of the galactose C1 of the galactose and C4 of the C4 of the glucose it forms a glycosidic bond that is a glycosidic linkage now here it is the like a galactose mighty here it is oh oh now the fourth position is also left side that's why it is also up high now the final thing is oh so this is the like a, a galactose mighty a galactose mighty however it forms the like a, a compound here it gives the like a glucose mighty okay now here oh 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 now here it is the o so here it forms the like OH. Here also it presents the like a free OH functionality. That's why it is called as reducing sugar. It called as reducing sugar. It gives the like osozone derivative test as well as a Tollens test as well as a, like a failing test as well as failing test. So that's why it is also called as a reducing sugar. So the reducing sugars can give uh, can use the like muta rotation in aqueous solution. Okay. Now here it is the a simplest structure regarding to the lactose mighty. Here C1 from the galactose. Note this point. So for JMA student, it is very important. C4 from the glucose mighty. C4 from the glucose mighty. Okay. Now here C1 is uh, galactose. C4 is the glucose mighty. Okay. In particularly, C1 is a beta form. C1 is a, that is a galactose is beta form. That's why I'll write the molecule over here. So C1 is the beta form. Okay. So galactose, it forms the beta form in 
and lactose mighty in lactose mighty okay that's all for this video i'll discuss it in this i'll, I'll discuss it in this video like uh, disaccharides so sucrose maltose lactose mitis and their complete structures with a glycosidic linkage at the c1 or c2 or c4 again it is uh, classified either it is a uh, reducing sugar or non-reducing sugar thank you so much for watching